Hi guys, you are all welcome here to my channel Study Parlor. I am Ranjan sir and I am going to teach you today letter to the editor. It is very simple, it is a kind of official letter and we know official letter is always very brief, concise and to the point and it is also not actually different from that. So it is very short, very simple and some around its length according to our curriculum or in the syllabus. The instruction which we find is and some around 120 to 150 is the word limit. So very simple. It has actually some systematic steps which you will learn and I think if I tell you and if I teach you and if you try to pay attention properly, I think once you learn you can never forget in your entire lifetime. But before I start and go to the main point, I want to tell you that if you think that this is beneficial for you and this video is beneficial for you, I must request you to like, share among your friends, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that as soon as I upload a new video, it immediately reaches your end. Another thing that I should add here that this letter to the editor or formal letter is very essential and very integral part of our school curriculum right from standard 8 to class 12 and even in undergraduate level also particularly for those who have compulsory English. So it is such an important letter so if you read it properly it will be very useful and it is a part of our school syllabus, school curriculum of any board, be it CBSE or ICSE or any state board. So it is such an important topic, it is such an important letter. So and moreover, this official letter or a kind of formal letter or editorial letter is part of our life. So once we learn, we can use it throughout our life. You should follow it and I can assure you that once you learn it, you can never forget our educational or economical issues in and around the world. So today I am going to teach you the editorial letter and the topic of the letter is today Today's topic is Write a letter to the editor complaining against price rise of essential commodities in your district, state or country, whatever will be written there in the question paper, we have to write the same. Right. And what to write against this letter, we should know what is the layout, what is the format, what is the structure of the letter, that is the editorial letter which I am going to teach you today. So first, we will learn the structure. What is the structure? First, there are six steps to follow and to complete this letter. There are six steps. So as I wrote here, the number one address of sender or address of the sender. So one who writes the letter, one who writes the letter, his address to be written here within two to three lines and then leaving one line gap, the date is to be written. This is gone the first one, first step. The second step is leaving one line gap, the address of the recipient or the addressee to whom you are going to write. We are going to write to the editor. So we will write the editor and then address of the editor. That is the newspaper, name of the newspaper and the address of the office of the newspaper. That is the second number. And then third number, third number is salutation. Generally, salutation is uh, under salutation dear sir or sir in most of the cases only sir is written so we should also write only sir not dear sir and then comes subject subject comes under serial number four so but in some cases in some boards the salutation is written after subject and i have also followed that same first subject is written and then the salutation okay so this is number four and number five is the body of the letter. Number five is body of the letter and body of the letter to be written within three to four paragraphs. And within that two, there must be one introduction and another conclusion 
and inside that is in between that is the main body and in between there will be a main body and generally the length of the body of the editorial letter in most boards in most curriculum is about 120 to 150 so we should not write much if the introduction contains somewhere around 40 to 50 words if the conclusion contains somewhere around 40 to 50 words and then some 100 words are we are getting here and some around 50 to some around 50 60 words to be written under body and that is enough so we should not worry about that you can write easily against any topic so next and the last step of our letter is subscription number six subscription subscription under this subscription generally we write against every official letter yours faithfully yours sincerely truly etc and most mostly which is used is yours faithfully and after that yours faithfully this subscription we give our signature the signature of the letter signature of the writer and then in bracket under that the name of the person that is the name of the writer is written in capital letter so this is the layout this is the structure of the editorial letter if you follow and complete these six systematic steps then our letter will be completed so next let me go to the main point so today's topic of the letter is once again let me read and clear it write a letter to the editor complaining against price rise of essential commodities in your district state or country that is in most of the cases it is given in your country so accordingly we will write so according to the structure or format the first item is here written the address of the writer and in such case address of the writer we will try to follow the same address everywhere whenever you need to write any letter to the editor or or any personal letter so we will write the same address so that there is no confusion over this and there is there is no probability of making any spelling mistake so we will follow and we will write a standard address everywhere whenever we need to write so i wrote ring road palm avenue kolkata then six digit pin code or six digit pin number leaving one line gap then there is the date date i wrote here fifth may comma then two zero two cross or double cross so this way generally written and we should not write in in some cases it is found some students generally tend to write the date the very word date is written and then the date is written i think it is better to avoid that and write 5th may 7th may 5th february whatever is the date the date of the uh, date when the letter is written and then after putting comma the year and year we can write exactly the same 2022 2023 whatever may be the year of the time of the writing of the letter and if not then only 20 cross double cross you can write and that is enough so this is the first item serial number one then comes serial number two and two number two is address of the recipient recipient's address under this recipient's address we are writing the letter to the editor so i wrote the editor the first one is capital and then editor e is capital next i wrote the name of the newspaper of the editor that is the name of the newspaper the telegraph then what is the address of that office that is vip road kolkata one here generally six digit pin code is written sometimes and sometimes one digit is also applicable so whatever may be uh, actually convenient for you you can write and generally six digit pin code we should write and we can write we also can write one digit pin code doesn't matter in that case next comes the subject as i wrote subject what is the subject subject directly i copied from the question in the question it is written in the question it is written what is written in the question it is written write a letter to the editor complaining against price rise of essential commodities exactly from here complaining against price rise of essential commodities in our country so in every case if it is not the uh, topic of the or subject of the letter is not the price rise of essential commodities if it is this actually uh, this load shedding 
frequent load shedding in your country, in your state, in your locality, whatever may be the same thing we can copy from the question and then paste in our answer or about any other thing, any other topic that uh, complaining against the antisocial activities in your locality. So we can copy the same thing. So whatever topic will be there, whatever is the subject in the question that is mentioned, so the same thing will copy from the question and write. So that we need not worry about what to write, how to write, what will be the, while writing this, is there any mistake or there is probability of any mistake, don't worry. So we just copy from the question and then write. So then subject is complaining against price rise of essential commodities. Next comes salutation. I wrote at number 4, salutation sir. Only sir that is enough. We need not be confused whether to write dear sir or sir. Only sir is enough. So we should write as less as possible because the official or editorial letter or formal letter is always always to be written very precisely, concisely and to the point. So there is no scope of exaggeration. There is no scope of writing anything related to our personal life or any emotion and all these things. So we need not worry about that. So we should write exactly to the point. So here in the body or under body, there are three paragraphs I mentioned as I wrote here, three paragraphs. First paragraph is the introduction. This introduction can be learnt by heart and can be used and written in any editorial or formal letter so that we can avoid making mistakes. So I wrote through the columns of your highly esteemed daily. It is the beginning of the introduction of any letter written to the editor. So same thing we can learn by heart and copy and paste whenever we, we attempt to write any letter to the editor without making any mistake. So through the columns of your highly esteemed daily, I would like to draw the attention of the authorities concerned and the right thinking people to the excruciating problems caused by. This much we can learn by heart and we can use against any editorial letter without making any mistake or without facing any confusion. And then after this, whatever topic will be there in our question that will be. So that's why here in that case, I copied the, I wrote the question within bracket. So I can use it in the gap which I left here in my letter. So if I write price rise of essential commodities in our country in this space, in the space left here that is caused by, after caused by, then that is enough. So in any, in case of any editorial letter, whenever we need to write against any topic, we can write the same introduction only the topic to be pasted after caused by. Then the single letter. What does it show? What does it prove? The single letter can serve the purpose of multiple letters against multiple topic. Next, the body. Body, while writing the main body of our answer, so I also here maintain some actually this uh, system. First sentence I wrote that is related to the topic. A kind of here also a kind of introduction or introductory kind of statement that I mentioned here in the main part of the body. So I wrote the exorbitant rise in the price of essential commodities is a burning problem of our country today. It's a kind of introduction of the main body. Then what are the prices of the commodities? Commodities of which goods? Prices of which kind of commodity that is actually rising up day by day or every day or every moment? Then I cited. So I wrote the prices of rice, vegetable, oil, gas and even medicines of daily use are as if leaping up almost every moment. So the prices are rising as if every moment and it is jumping, not very slow and steadily. So next I wrote who are responsible for this, this price rise of essential commodities I mentioned Certain sections of our society like the dishonest businessmen, hoarders and black marketers create fake crisis that is instrumental to the rise of the price coupled with negligence of the Department of Consumer Affairs. So the, these hoarders, dishonest businessmen, black marketers, they are responsible for the sudden or you know, unlimited or reckless rise of the price of the essential commodities along with the negligence of the Department of Consumer Affairs who are 
assigned to maintain balance or law and order in the market prices. So their negligence is also a great factor and great cause. So that I also mentioned in the, in the, in, in, in the letter. And now after that, what happens? What is happening for all these, all these causes? I wrote, as a result, the majority of the people now find it difficult to make both ends meet. So majority of the people are now finding difficulty or find it difficult to manage their food and then survive therewith. It is very difficult for them to survive because they cannot manage the price which is required to manage to buy the goods which are essential for our survival. So and then I mentioned who are the worst sufferer that I also mentioned. Because in every country there are certain section of the society uh, who are the worst sufferer and there are some others who anyhow can manage and there are some still others who don't suffer at all under any circumstances, under any crisis. They are the creamy layer of the society, creamy layer of our country. So they do never suffer, suffer under any circumstances. So I mentioned who are the worst sufferer and why? I mentioned the daily wage earners are the worst hit by it, at least when pandemic has demolished the backbone of economy, crisis and problem. So at last I wrote the conclusion and this conclusion also a kind of standard conclusion which can be used against any editorial letter. So I wrote a kind of common conclusion so that one conclusion can help you write anywhere, whenever you are writing any letter to the editor. So I wrote, therefore, I would like to request the concerned authorities to take stringent steps against the culprit and restore normalcy before the situation gets worst. So see, government can be used against most, almost any letter while writing to the editor. So this is the kind of common conclusion, only the body to be made on the basis of the theme or changed on the basis of the theme and the rest of the things can be maintained or can be retained so that we need not worry or struggle or trouble while going to or attempting to write any letter to the editor. So next and then I hope you have actually got the idea and the concept how to write within minimum struggle, minimum labor, minimum preparation. How can you write the letter to the editor with perfection? And with simple, with single specimen, we can manage multiple letters to the editor. Okay. Once again, I repeat, my dear students, if you like my channel, if you like my video, you please like it, share among your friends, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get whenever a new video is uploaded and it is such an important letter it is such an important part of our school curriculum as we learn we can use not only in the field of education but also in our day to day life because such official letter is a part of essential item which we have to face in our day to day life during our official transaction so I think you understood my video and you will remember it, you try to practice it so that you don't forget and you can get the maximum benefit of it and you can avail it in your practical field. So bye.